the strange thing is it has no effect on record sales. Um, it doesn't, the public seem to ignore it. <coughs> but of course, it, sometimes it can be quite hurtful to the people it's written against. I don't give a damn what they write about. No, I mean, we're not bothered because, anymore, uh, I don't think. Because what, what really matters is, is that your records sell. And if the public don't like you, that's when you start to worry. Mm. I mean, and, yeah, and, yeah. and, and uh, I think uh, what you're asking about is, uh, especially in England, I mean, the press has, they've had a, a field day with us because, I mean, I, I think in England it, it's a real, really cutthroat. And I mean, I, even now, I mean, like in terms of even sales, mm -hmm. you'll you get a, a single that comes out, it'll go straight up the charts and it's straight down. So it's, it's really fast moving. Yeah, but in terms of your success, is the media helpful? Initially, uh, the press are helpful, but then, I, you know, you don't give a damn because whatever they say, it doesn't matter because the public have their own mind and they cannot change their views. And that's why we are still here today after 13 years or whatever, because the public still buy our records. Mm. And, and, and journalism in England say the nastiest things. That they can, that's why we never do any, any damn interviews in, in England. And it doesn't matter because, I mean, they, as far as we're concerned, they. They don't matter, to be honest. It's, it's when, when the public stop buying our records, then we start to worry. In a funny way, we, we learned by our mistakes. I mean, we, when we were green, when we started off, we, we had bad management, management or whatever, but we learned. Uh, we were ripped off that. like any other. And then in the end, we learned the ropes, and, and we learned how, 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 how to work with the trade, and then in the end, we took over the reins, and, and then we knew how to fend for ourselves, and I think business is a very important factor of how to survive. But in the same time, we have, we've got to come up with good music, you know. You can't be a wonderful businessman and have crap music, you know. It doesn't work. Well, there's no doubt that you're one of the wealthiest bands in the world. We're all extremely wealthy, but I mean, I mean uh, this question is very, very delicate, because I mean, you have to ask us, in, in, Individually, I mean, and wealth brings a lot of problems, and, uh, and I think we all have different problems. And uh, there's no way that I can't believe anybody saying uh, who, who's successful in, in our industry to say that he's wealthy and happy. You can be happy in certain territories, but not always. Mm. I mean, there's always, I mean, I mean wealth, brings right. a, wealth brings a lot of problems. That's right. yeah. And yeah. mostly you find it's So uh, anybody wa watching us now and, and listening to us saying that, oh, uh, we, we, we're, you know, superstars and we've got lots of money and we have a good time, it's not worth it. We're, we're very hard working. We have to work, you know, we're harder than, than most people think. And it brings, and the, and the money we make brings a lot of problems. <laughs>